So behind me are my five favorite Creality printers of 2020. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So I get a lot of questions about what my favorite Creality 3D printers are. And with the shopping season coming up, with Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all the other sales, I thought I would take some time and walk you through my favorite five Creality 3D printers. I'm going to walk through each one and tell you some specs and what I like about them. In this video, we're going to talk about the Ender 3, we're going to talk about the Ender 3 V2, we're going to talk about the Ender 5, we're going to talk about the Ender 5 Plus, and way over here, the brand new CR6 SE. So without further ado, let's jump into this, my five favorite Creality 3D printers. So the first printer I want to talk about is the first printer I ever got. That's the Creality Ender 3. Now, I love this printer. It is absolutely awesome for beginners. It takes a little bit of time to put it together, but if you check out my build video, I'll link it right here. It'll be printing amazing right out of the box. Uh, the same can be said with the Ender 3 Pro. Uh, both of these printers are awesome printers, and I highly recommend them, especially with the price right now. You can't beat the prices on these things. They're sub $200. And for what you get and the quality you get out of these things, they are amazing for under $200. So let's take a closer look. The Ender 3 got me started in 3D printing. It has a 220 by 220 by 250 build area. And this particular one is heavily modified. One of the things I absolutely love about the Ender 3 is the huge following it has and the amount of support you can get. There are groups on Facebook and Discord and Reddit and everywhere on the Ender 3. As you can see, this one is heavily modified. It has a ton of parts on it. This one right here is actually my TH3D machine. So this one has almost everything they offer from TH3D for the Ender 3. But the base Ender 3, like I said, 220 by 220 by 250 build surface. It has a Creality hot end. Um, normally, it has a plastic extruder that sits back here and pushes the filament down through. I upgraded it to direct drive. This is the only non-TH3D part on this one. And this is the printer mods direct drive. I have a video on that. The Ender 3 Pro comes with a Meanwell power supply. Uh, this was a standard Ender 3, but I did put the Meanwell power supply on it. Uh, again, I got that from TH3D because they had a great sale on them. But the standard Ender 3 doesn't come with a Meanwell. But I think you can get an Ender 3 Pro right now under $200, uh, which is just an amazing price for a stock Ender 3 Pro. If you're in the market, you want to get into 3D printing and it's under $200 you have to spend, I would check out an Ender 3 Pro all day because they are awesome machines. The Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro come with a standard board. This particular one I've upgraded with the TH3D Easy Board Lite, which is a, a, just an awesome board for the Creality printers. And again, there's just a ton of stuff you can do to these things. For under $200, you can get yourself into printing. That's what I did when I first started. And then I've just taken it and kind of ran with it with all the videos I've done. This particular Ender 3, I actually put that magnetic build surface on from TH3D. I got the magnetic plate, and then I grabbed the flex plate, and I put an easy mat on a flex plate. That's what this is. Now, the new easy mats, I believe, are uh, a black color. Um, this one I've had for a while, and I absolutely love the easy mats. When you're done, just give it a couple flexes, and you're done. It comes stock with a Creality mat and some clips. Um, it's an okay build surface, but that's one thing I recommend upgrading right away if you get the Ender 3. Get rid of that Creality mat. Even the Ender 3 Pro, I'm not a huge fan of their uh, magnetic mat as well. The second printer on my list is the Ender 5 Pro. This thing is probably my favorite Creality 3D printer uh, in 2020 or anytime, hands down. I absolutely love the Ender 5 Pro. It comes with some awesome features. It comes with some great equipment, as we're about to see. And it's very, very easy to put together. This one right here is my number one 3D printer from Creality for beginners. If you have the money, Grab an Ender 5 Pro, you definitely won't regret it. Let's check it out. The Ender 5 Pro being one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Creality 3D printer of 2020, or of all time, is awesome. It comes with a 220 by 220 by 300 
build surface. It's a cantilever design where the Z is back here and you have your two support rods holding everything up. It comes with a standard Creality hot end, the same thing you'd see on a standard uh, Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. It has a Meanwell power supply built in. It has a metal extruder, so it's upgraded metal extruder on the side, which is really nice. It comes in this awesome cube design that makes putting this thing together very easy. It all goes together almost perfect. You just have to follow the instructions and make sure you're putting it together correctly. Because the bed just moves up and down and everything else stays up top, you don't have your bed slinging around like this. That's why they're commonly called a bed slinger because your bed goes back and forth, right? So you don't have that. Because your bed doesn't move back and forth on the Ender 5 and the Ender 5 Plus we're gonna see in a little bit, it's really cool because that just allows your bed to lower as the print builds. That keeps everything steady. It allows for very, very nice prints. And I tell you what, I've gotten some just amazing prints off my Ender 5 Pro. So I've done some upgrades to this one. I've done the screen cover here. I've done the TH3D Easy ABL Pro, which absolutely makes this thing awesome. And the TH3D firmware, which is rocking for the Ender 5 Pro and the Ender 5 and the Ender 3 and, and a lot of other printers. One thing I really like about the Ender 5 Pro is that it's so easy to customize. The cable for my Easy ABL just runs along all the other cables. You could hide it in if you wanted to, uh, but it was very easy. It took me about 15 minutes to install everything and flash the firmware on the Easy ABL. It would be about the same for a BL Touch if you wanted to run a BL Touch. It does come with the Creality Silent Board, and that Creality Silent Board makes a huge difference. This thing is super silent while it's printing. The fans are the loudest thing, and I tell you what, fan noise I can deal with. The stepper noise I hate, so <laughs> the, the Creality Silent Board is awesome. Full disclosure, the new ones could come with a new board. Again, this one has the 115 in it. It comes with a magnetic Creality build surface. I upgraded to the TH3D Easy Flex 2, and I really love TH3D's build surfaces, whether it's the textured or the non-textured, or just the Easy Mat. I like taking their Easy Mat and throwing it on one of the spring steel sheets, so you have a flexible Easy Mat, which is awesome. And the links for the TH3D parts that I put on this are in the description below as well. The third printer on my list is the Ender 3 V2. This one came out this year and it's an absolutely great printer. It's definitely another step up from the Ender 3 and if you have the money, I would definitely check it out over its younger brother, the Ender 3. It's built about the same way but it has a lot of the upgrades, but Creality added in a lot of the upgrades that we actually did on the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro anyway. So it's kind of cool that they listened, they saw what people were doing on their Ender 3s, and they added them to the machine right from the factory. So let's take a closer look. The Ender 3 V2 is the big brother, the new version of the Ender 3. It comes with a 220 by 220 by 250 build area. They really put some time into this one and did some upgrades that we like to do on the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro straight from the factory. As you can see, it comes with belt tensioners on the Y and the X axis, which really makes tightening and loosening those belts easy. Now be careful, you don't wanna over tighten these. You wanna make sure everything runs smooth and if the belts are over tightened, you'll definitely see that in your prints and you risk breaking them. So you don't want that to happen. The Ender 3 V2 comes with a new screen and a new board. It also comes with a tray in the bottom here that you can pop out and store your tools in, which is really nice. It comes with that silent board, the new one from Creality. If you get this printer, make sure you check the firmware and get on Creality's site or wherever you get your firmware and get the latest firmware you can. The early ones had some bugs and you wanna make sure you update that. But don't forget to upgrade your screen firmware as well. It's very important that if you upgrade the board firmware, you upgrade the screen to the newest firmware. Again, it has the bigger color screen, which is nice. The new designed hot end is nice. Uh, it does use the Creality Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, Ender 5 uh, actual hot end behind here. But it's nice that they did something different with the front of it. It looks really good. In this playlist right here, you'll find a whole bunch of videos that shows all the different upgrades I've done on the Ender 3 V2, including, again, the, the Easy Flex 2 by TH3D. I absolutely love their textured Easy Flex 2. I do have some of the smooth ones. Those are awesome too if I want a smooth bottom, but I love these textured ones. You can just pop your print right off the bed when you're done and, and walk away. The other upgrade I've done is the metal extruder in the back here. Again, I got that from TH3D. You can get them from Amazon or anywhere, but this particular one was the TH3D version. This is the TH3D Tough Tube. As you can see, it's blue. 
Uh, you could use Capricorn if you wanted to as well. But all these are really easy upgrades that you can do in five minutes or less on the Ender 3 V2. That's why I absolutely love these printers because the upgrades are so fast. Number four on our list is the Creality CR6 SE. This printer came out this year. It uh, started with some controversy on Kickstarter, but they did very well. They raised a ton of money and they came out with a product that is overall pretty good. The print quality is really good. The functionality of the printer is really good. They are working on firmware to work through some bugs. But I tell you what, if you have the budget over the Ender 3 or the Ender 3 V2, the CR6 SE is the way to go. I definitely would check it out. Let's dive into some of the features. The CR6 SE has a 235 by 235 by 250 build area. It comes with a Creality glass bed. It has a newly updated hot end that has brand new bed leveling technology that in my opinion works really good so far. I've not had any issues with the bed leveling on this thing. It actually works when the nozzle comes down and touches the bed and then pops back up very lightly. It's very fast. And like I said, I haven't had any issues with that part of it. It does have a really sweet little handle in the top. And I tell you what, days like today when I'm popping the printer all around the shop to film, this handle comes in handy. It has a filament runout sensor in the back along with the updated extruder to keep everything going. It's nice to see Creality get away from that cheap plastic extruder and go to something like this. It has the new updated silent board and a touch screen that comes with it. The X and Y axis have really nice belt tensioners and I really like those. Makes it so much easier to tighten your belts or loosen them if you need to loosen them. Don't go too tight. The Y axis is absolutely huge. It's rock solid and sturdy, which is great. It comes with a really cool folding filament holder. It actually folds all the way back or all the way forward. So if you need to store this, you can actually just flip it back and put it somewhere smaller than the space you need to actually print, which is awesome. The CR6 SE actually comes with a full size SD card. I like that a lot. I really like the full size SD card. So thank you for including that. The CR6 SE also has a dual Z setup with a belt on the top to keep everything in sync. So once you get everything straight and flush, all you have to do is start printing. It'll keep itself in sync as long as you get it there to start. Also, this only takes about eight bolts to put together. It is super easy and super fast to put this thing together. The Ender 5 Plus is number five on our list. What can I say? This thing is ginormous. You could actually fit an Ender 5 inside of this. It is a awesome printer. It's the biggest printer on my list for 2020. And I tell you what, this thing is just a workhorse. It puts out great prints. There's some easy upgrades you can do on this thing to make it even better. And I've done a lot of them in the playlist that I'll link right here. But I tell you what, this is one of my favorite Creality printers of all time. I absolutely love the Ender 5 Pro, and this one is right up there with that. There's so many things you can print on it from tiny to really big, and if you have the budget, I would definitely check out the Ender 5 Plus if you're looking for a large format printer. Let's check it out. The Ender 5 Plus comes with a 350 by 350 by 400 build area. That is really big compared to the Ender 5. So if this is the Ender 5 Plus build surface right here, this is actually the Easy Flex 2 by TH3D, is the size of an Ender 5 Pro. You put them together and see the difference? The Ender 5 Plus is huge. 350 by 350 by 400 will get you some amazing prints. The next thing the Ender 5 Plus has that I really like is Dual Z with Dual Z motors. It has a motor and a dual Z on each side of the printer, and that helps it stay aligned as it goes up and keeps everything really solid on this gantry. It uses four stabilization bars that it slides on, and that's unlike the Ender 5 Pro, which is a cantilever. So the Ender 5 Pro has that single Z with the two stabilization bars. These have four bars and dual Z. The Ender 5 Plus comes with a BL touch on from the factory that gives you that auto bed leveling. It really helps with such a large bed, once you get everything dialed in the beginning, to use an auto bed leveling probe like the BL touch or the Easy ABL. But this one comes with the BL touch straight from the factory, and I'll tell you what, it really helps you get those awesome prints. The next thing I really like about the Ender 5 Plus is it comes with a filament runout sensor way in the back here. That really helps if you're low on filament, 
or if your filament breaks during the print, it'll actually stop and you won't waste a whole print. I've used this a few times. It is totally worth it and it helps a lot. It also comes with a Meanwell power supply now. Uh, it didn't used to, but it does now. And from the factory, it comes with a touch screen, which is really nice too. I've actually changed this one out and it's been modified. So this one doesn't have that touch screen, but the stock one will come with a touch screen and it's not a bad touch screen at all. With the upgraded silent board, the loudest part about this is the fans. And I tell you what, if you don't get one with the silent board, get the silent board. It's definitely worth it. This thing quiets down so much with that board. This is an overall great large form printer. And if you have the budget, definitely worth it. So we just went through my five favorite Creality 3D printers of 2020. Now you might've noticed that the only one not modified in this whole group here is the CR6 SE on the end. That's because I haven't really done any modifications on that one. It's actually a pretty solid printer. There are some things to do on it and we're gonna get to that soon. But I also need to mention a bonus sixth printer. The CR10 V3. Now I really like the CR10 V3. I had a CR10 V2 and I like that a lot, but the V3 with a direct drive, it has to make this list as an honorable mention. That thing lays down some amazing prints. The direct drive is just awesome and it's definitely one to check out. Also in the description below, you might see a special link from Creality on their Black Friday and Cyber Monday pricing. If you click that link, you can check out their pricing. Otherwise, all the links to all these printers are below as well. I hope this video went through some things. I hope it taught you a little bit about each printer. I hope you learned something new about maybe a printer you don't have. And if you're considering a printer, I hope this helped a lot. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below. I'll be watching them and I'll try to answer them the best I can. I hope you have a great holiday season and as always, keep printing. What's up everybody? I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me that like, hit that subscribe button right in the center and click the bell if you wanna be notified anytime we go live on Hot Mix or anytime a great new video goes out. Holy crap, can you see me through there? This thing's heavy. Woo, did you guys see that one before? This thing is a beast.